God bless you, I'm Prophet Willie Townsend, now the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church, where we are located at 10501 South Avenue J in Chicago, Illinois, where our Sunday morning services start at 12.30 p.m., and our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes start at 8 o'clock p.m. If you need free pickup for any of our church services, give us a call, and we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charge. Also, our prayer lands are now open. We have live prayer warriors available that take your call for prayer. Give us a call if you need prayer. Also, I encourage you to write me, send me your testimony, send me your prayer request letter, write me, Prophet Willie Townsend, P.O. Box number 128, Calumet City, Illinois, 60409. Also, you can get all of our Wednesday and Friday Bible classes by going to YouTube every Wednesday and Friday at 8 o'clock p.m., and I will Sunday telecast every Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. Yes. All right, we have a part two yes. on the devil's war on Christian. Yes. Amen. All right, in the book of Revelation, the 12th chapter and the 7th verse, as Revelation 12 and 7. And there was war in heaven. Amen. Uh, just like it. It's a lot of war in our lives. Amen. Amen. Uh, there was war in heaven. Michael and his angel fought against a dragon. And the dragon fought and his angel. Our lesson this morning would be on the devil's war on Christians part two. The devil's war. On Christians, part two. Amen. Amen. The devil, as we stated earlier, is going to war after you. The devil is going to war to prove a point. The devil is going to war after certain part. Uh, one year could be your man. The next year could be your marriage. The third year could be finances. The devil is going to war after you. This is why Jesus said that the devil will put some of you all in prison. But be thy faithful unto death, which means don't give up. Be faithful unto death, and I give you a crown of life. You can't give up because the devil's worn after you. No, you got to war back. You can't give up in God because the devil fighting you. You got to fight him back. You see what I'm talking about? Why would you want to give your salvation over to Satan? But he, 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 here's the thing here. The devil wars after you to beat you down, to make you say, forget everything. I can't forget everything because there's a lot of things I'm living for. I got God that I'm living for. I got a marriage that I'm living for. I got members that I'm living for. I got people that's watching me, the grand, uh, uh, a grandstand that's watching me. I got my children that's watching me. Don't you see what I'm talking about? I cannot counsel my children and talk with them and I show myself weak. Can't do it, baby. You see what I'm talking about? But the devil here, he used strategies. He used spiritual plans. Amen. 
And the first, one of the first plans the devil used to attack us is our faith. Because the devil knows without faith you can't stand. The devil don't want you standing like I'm standing. He wants you down there. The devil want you on the floor. The devil want you on the ground. Do you see what I'm talking about? Amen. Number one here, the devil's going to war against your faith. Number two, this devil's going to war against your flesh. That's why your flesh got to be crucified. Because what the devil is trying to do, the devil is warned against your flesh to bring back alive what you crucified. Uh oh, say that now. You know you're right. You know you're right. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? Well, prophet, if it's dead, how can the devil bring it back alive? Let me explain something to you here. Amen. Just like God got the power over the resurrection, Satan got power over the resurrection too, but only in the flesh. He'll resurrect the flesh of your old lifestyle, baby. You see that? What the devil is doing here, he's worn after your flesh because the devil knows what you used to do, all of this cussing, all of this drinking, laying up with other women, laying up with other men, he know it's still in your flesh. All right, all right, all right teacher. You, teacher you see what I'm talking about? And the devil believes that he can bring this stuff back. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Amen. So therefore here, the devil attacks yeah. your flesh with desires. The devil attacks your flesh with feelings. The devil attacks your flesh with needs. <laughs> he feels his doom that he can bring these old things back in your life through desires, through your flesh, through feelings, through likings. There's a lot, even though you say, the devil know even though you say, you still like it. If you didn't like it, why did you get married? If you didn't like it. You just didn't get married just to get a friend. You just didn't get married for somebody to go to church with you. Go ahead, teacher. Go ahead. Go ahead, prophet. You see what I'm talking about? Listen here, that's why Paul said that in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. Let me explain something to you here. The old man is not far away. Amen. You say that old man of yours, that old nature of yours, that old lifestyle of yours is your next door neighbor. It's your spiritual next door neighbor. Do you see what I'm talking about? And the devil knows this here. This is why here that after you get saved and you've been saved for a couple of years, notice that old lifestyle, that old, old desire that you had when you was a sinner, it start to creep back in you 
You can tell it start creeping back in you. Well, I think I'm going to move so-and-so. I think I'm going to go back to so-and-so. You're going back. That was the filth you was in. Come on, man. You see what I'm talking about? The devil not going to carry me back to nowhere. The devil not going to carry me back to nowhere, baby. I'm, baby, I'm, I'm pressing toward the mark. I'm pressing toward the mark. I'm, I'm not a them that drove back to prediction, baby. Look how nasty that life was. Look how low it was. Look how low my life was. Look how nasty it was. Look how filthy my life was. Look how unclean it was. What in the hell? I want to go back to something filthy, low class, low life that like that, baby. You see what I'm talking about? Christ done saved me, baby. Christ done cleaned me up, baby. Christ done made a man out of me, baby. Let me press toward the mark, baby. That's what the devil's doing. This is why he's attacking you in your flesh. He want to bring you back to that filthy, low life that life you was living. As the Bible said in the book of Peter, as a dog returned to his own vomit. You see what I'm talking about? has attacked my flesh I told the devil that'll never happen again I told the devil I would never lay with another woman but my wife I told the devil I'm not going that way Satan I told the devil I'm not going to live that low never again baby I'm in the light now baby I'm not in darkness no more I'm in the light You see what I'm talking about? You weren't happy in that old life you was living. Amen. You felt nasty. You felt dirty. You, you, were, you were depressed. You was worried. You felt like they was using you. Why go back to that? You see what I'm talking about? You couldn't find love nowhere. You felt like they was you. You were being you. You was unhappy. Afterwards, you couldn't see him for, you didn't see him from the man in the next couple of weeks. Why would you want the devil to tempt you through your flesh and bring you back to that old lifestyle that you once was living. Let me tell you what you need to be doing. You need to be putting your mind on things above. Not on the things of this earth, baby. Question here. Prophet, how does the devil attack me through the flush? The devil attack you through the flush with desires. That's how you can tell it's an attack of the devil through the flush. Through the desires. The way you feel. The horniness. The way you, what you want to do. That's how you can tell. The devil is attacking you through the flush. You can tell when the devil's attacking you through the flush, you'll think about it in the mind. 
Break it down. You see what I'm talking about? Every attack of Satan is not with uh, anger. Every attack with Satan is not with violence. Some of his attack come with desires. Come with feelings. Come with liking. Come with desires. Come with fantasies. You see what I'm talking about? Prophet, if I give in to the devil, through these attacks through my flesh, what happened? He done succeeded with you. You on the floor now, baby. You on the ground now, baby. You see what I'm talking about? You on the ground now. You on the floor now. And what he's doing here, he's reeling you in. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. This is how the devil here have pulled many of them from God and have succeeded through the attacks through their flesh. Amen. Satan sends signal through your flesh to get you to think about it. To get you to do it. Satan sends signals of desires. He sends signals of feelings. Those are the things that work for Satan. Those are the things that work for Satan to get you. I believe that too. I know you're right. I know you're right. Go ahead. This is why the Bible told us to resist the devil and he would flee from you. The feeling is there. The lacking is there. The desire is there. Resist it. Don't think about it. Don't give in to it. Resist it. Because holy, if you give in to it, what is it going to bring you? I mean, if you give in to it, it's going to bring you down. It's eventually going to start fooling with your mind. You see what I'm talking about? I mean, if I give in to my flesh, if it benefit me, uh, after the bars close, after I give in to my flesh, and it benefit me after 15 minutes, I got to live a couple of days depressed. I got after that, I got to live a couple of days feeling dirty, nasty, unclean. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. But the devil here from the beginning, he attacked a man through the flesh to bring him down. You see what I'm talking about? He attacked it, David through the flesh, brought David down. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. The devil attacked the children of Israel through the flesh and brought them down. The Bible said these things were written for our ammunition. That we don't make the same mistake, baby. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. Let me explain something to you here, honey. I was a sinner just like you. 
And I was involved off into things just like you when I was a sinner. When I got saved, the devil brought him, his war through my flesh again. Why I didn't fall? Well, what did these, yeah, he brought the feeling. He brought the fantasy. Babe, I wasn't going to lose God over nobody. I hold it. I was not going to lose God over my flesh, over my desire. You folks out there, they, they give in to the devil through their flesh. And they fall, they get out there and do what they want to do. Then they come back to the church, probably got a problem. I know it. I know it. You created a problem. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. That could have been avoided, baby. You see what I'm talking about? I understand of me being a man, my flesh, my mind, my spirit. I understand my flesh is sinful of the Adam nature. And it can pick up desires. It can pick up likings. It can look at things and the flesh can like it. But when you switch over to the spirit, <laughs> the spirit gonna crucify it. You see what I'm talking about? Hey Amen. Not that I'm gonna sit up and entertain it. Not that I'm gonna end up going after it. What are you going after? Then when, a, then when when it got used up by the devil and these people you failed to, they gone now. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Then you gonna say, where's all of my friends? You see what I'm talking about? All Satan wants to do is to make you fall. He don't care if you use your mind, your flesh, your spirit. And the other one we're going to go to going to be how the devil going to attack you, how the devil going to walk you through other people, but we will get that a, a little. All right. Yes. All right. Go ahead. Teach it now. Yes. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. A uh, lot of people here, they don't believe in the devil. If you don't believe in the devil, where are you getting them desires from? Yeah. Probably that's coming, that's coming through the flush. Yeah, from the sin of the flush. Where did the sin come from? You see what I'm talking about? So what the devil does here, the devil wars after us through our flesh. When the devil is born after you through your flesh, he constantly, he constantly giving you a feeling for it. He constantly giving you a desire for it. He constantly bringing it to your mind. He constantly working on you because he believes if he keep bringing this feeling to you, to you, if he keep bringing this desire to your mind, if he keep bringing this thing uh, uh, to you, telling you to do it, he believe after a while you're going to get weak enough and give in. And hold it. He believe you're going to get weak enough because he don't believe you're that rooted in God. That's it. That's it. You got to go So what the devil got to do here... He got to prove his point. But you got to prove your point that you rooted in God. You got to prove your point that you steadfast, unmovable. 
There's a point to prove. God already know you. Satan don't. He don't know you. Prove a point to Satan. Devil, you come in through my flesh. But devil, I'm going to prove a point to you. I'm not going to fall to it. I'm not going to give in to it. I doesn't care who fall to it. Who give in to it. I won't touch it. It won't come near me. Do you see what I'm talking about? Amen. I'm not going to lose God over no man. I'm not going to lose God over no woman. I'm not going to lose God over the things of this world. The Bible said, what will a man give from the change of his own soul? If a man gain the whole world and lose his own soul, what shall it profit him? Do you see what I'm talking about? It could be done. That depends on how for real you are in God. That depends on how determined you are. Just because other people get weak and give in till they flush don't mean I have to do it. The Bible told you to work out your own soul salvation. I'm not going to hell because other folk go. Hey, I'm of them that I say to the keeping of our soul, baby. You see what I'm talking about? All right, God bless you. I'm, I'm Prophet Willie Townsend. Uh, the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church, where we are located at, 10501 South Avenue J in Chicago, Illinois, where our Sunday morning services start at 12.30 p.m. and our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes start at 8 o'clock p.m. If you need free pickup, for any of our church services, give us a call. And we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charge. Also, our prayer lines are now open. We have live prayer warriors available that take your call for prayer. Give us a call if you need prayer. Also, I encourage you to write me, send me your testimony, send me your prayer request letter, write me, Prophet Willie Townsend, P.O. Box number 128, Calumet City, Illinois, 60409. You can get all of our Wednesday and Friday Bible classes by going to YouTube every Wednesday and Friday at 8 o'clock p.m. and our Sunday telecast every Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. Until tomorrow morning, I'm Prophet Willie Townsend, uh, the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church. Until then, may God bless.